If you don't think you can do that for the next 10 years, you are not going to do it. So everything that you do should be what you're doing forever. I'm gonna say prayers forever. I'm gonna to respond to people forever. I'm gonna check my habits forever. I'm going to take my supplements forever. All these things. The morning routine is about getting things done and stacking up 10 wins before 7 a.m. Then from seven till noon, I'm on calls and I'm stacking up a bunch of wins there. And then for my European clients, I've got calls sometimes from one till two or one till three. And then I'm fucking done. And some days I don't have afternoon calls, although most days I do. And on those days, I'm trying to move into my forward moving projects, which as an entrepreneur is my bread and butter. Forward moving projects is what got me to Bali, it's what got me this villa, it's what got me, it's gonna get me the group coaching. I'm gonna release that fucking syst RLD system that I've been promising you guys forever. Once it's finished, I'm doing a reincorporation, all that stuff that gives me forward momentum. So I love being done obligation work by one. This to me is the most motivating thing. And also that allows you to have, you wanna go for a bonus gym session, you wanna go for a motorcycle ride, you wanna um, do your thing. You know, you've still got daylight in the afternoons to do it if you get the bulk of your achievement obligation work done early on in the day. And the more wins you stack up, the more things you get done, the lower the anxiety and the better the mood goes. Um, because you, you'll look at that day and the day is completed, you got things done, you got paid. Um, and then if you're able to get some forward movement in, some forward moving projects from one to three hours before 5 p.m., now you move yourself forward. Now you can enjoy your dinner and your girlfriend and your nightly reward and all that good stuff. So if you're struggling to get a consistent morning routine and you feed, think that like that crazy morning routine is what you need to, to get to that next level of success, that is not usually the case. The most high performance successful people often don't have a crazy long morning routine. They get right into business. Um, so don't think that you have to do all this personal development. There's so much stuff now, meditation, Wim Hof, there's like 20 or 30 things. You know, if you do everything that you're supposed to do, um, you know, hyperbaric chamber, all this shit, you know, you'll, you'll, <laughs> you'll never get to work. Um, look, don't get me wrong. If you like something, add it to the morning routine because then you'll do it. But if you're trying to do 10 things that you hate and it's two hours and it's a grind and you're trying to scale your business on top of that, you're just gonna put yourself into depression. So this is me giving you total permission to get your morning routine down to about 30 minutes, 30, 45 minutes. Stack up a bunch of easy wins, get them out of the fucking way, and don't fall into the personal development productivity trap that you gotta be doing a million things. Trust me, just, just staying healthy, staying fit, going to bed on time, having women or a woman in your life, um, scaling your business, having a social life with friends, um, doing residency stuff, visa stuff, uh, managing your wealth, hedging into various asset classes and stuff. I've got a lot more on that coming up this year. Um, man, that's enough. You know, add to that some recreation and, and all these things. Um, that's enough, man. So if you're feeling overwhelmed, um, you're trying to do some long ass morning routine, just drop it, get it down to 30 minutes and you'd be a lot happier and it's a lot easier. Um, for those of you that say caffeine is addictive, you're correct, but it is, for the last 10 years, I've been doing caffeine and a water pill, or sorry, water and a caffeine pill on a intermittent fasting schedule, which means I don't eat till noon. And that gives me the highest amount of energy during the morning. I used to be a quote unquote night person, but there's no such thing. Once I started the caffeine pill in the water and the intermittent fasting, I became a morning person. All my good energy is from 6 a.m. till noon until I eat something. And then I'm trying to eat something low carb in general. I failed at that today, but in general, I'm trying to eat something low carb so that I can sustain my energy throughout the day and not crash on carbs. But by far the morning is my most productive period. And I'm using it to, to nail down achievements and, and all the maintenance and obligation stuff that I need to do so that my afternoons are freed for forward moving shit that's not obligatory, that's to me is luxurious, forward moving projects or recreation um, or seeing girls or seeing friends or whatever it is, usually it's some form of business project. And so that's how I structure it and I think you'd be a lot happier if you, if you tried that. Um, so with that being said, 
I do recommend my book, How to Get Organized, RevolutionaryLifestyleDesign.com forward slash products. Buy that, use the TickTick -tick system, plug in your morning routine, link Google Calendar to TickTick -tick so you don't have to fucking think. That's a huge thing. TickTick -tick controls my life. I just look at what it tells me to do, who I have to call, what I have to do. If there's any appointments, they're fucking in there. And I've all delegated all my emails, delegated uh, calendar management, all that bullshit. So everything's in there. That's all I have to do. I highly recommend you do the same in conjunction with the TickTick -tick app, in conjunction with Google Calendar, in conjunction with my book. And if you are interested in coaching, I don't think I have a slot right now. RevolutionaryLifestyleDesign.com forward slash coaching. You can have a look at the page, but I don't think we're ready to take on anybody right now. I'm quite quite overwhelmed as we speak, um, but I'm looking to move, move towards group coaching model and open some slots up in the near future, as well as finalizing that RLD system, which used to be the, the how to play the game of life course. As of now, I don't plan on releasing it. It is too huge. It's gonna be given on a need to know basis to my coaching clients. Um, to help solve their problems and execute on their projects. Also, the future coaching system is gonna have operation support, both from RLD and installing the TickTick, -tick, an organizational system for you, as well as one of my clients I've helped set up an operations business for your personal dating, Instagram, um, all kinds of operations that you need based on the who not how principle. Having that shit outsourced and delegated has changed my life in a massive way. Um, I don't do 90% of the things I used to do and I'm aiming to get rid of the last 10 to 5%. So I highly recommend you check out that book if you haven't, Who Not How by Dan Sullivan. Check out the audio book. Um, and stay tuned, I will have a coaching slot available soon or move to group coaching. Um, sorry I don't now, but uh, you know, still have all my videos to check out. 300 plus videos on YouTube, all my articles on revolutionarylifestyledesign.com. And I wish you the best from Bali, Hope you are staying safe, staying productive, staying mentally healthy, uh, all that good stuff during these chaotic times. Much love to you.